We are doing another nether themed video today and I'm so excited about it. It's a warped style. It's a style I've worked with before and it's turning out really, really cool. This awesome gate between these two insane towers. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it really does help me out. This is Yomeister238 for those of you who are new and building tutorials is kind of my thing. I do other videos every once in a while, but the majority of the time it's just building tutorials, which this one turned out insane. I hope you guys really do enjoy it because but you just got to look at the pictures I'm showing. You can tell how cool it looks. But with that said, I do want this to be a shorter intro. I just want to say real quick, thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting as always. And with that said, short intro is done. Let's get the video started and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the very first thing we're going to want to go ahead and do, as usual, is establish a grid, which this grid you actually do have to clear out quite a bit of space. But right here on the side, you can see it's going to be 45 wide, 34 tall, and 11 thick. So that is 11 thick this way, 45 wide that way or long. And then it is going to be a very, very tall build. So make sure you have an abundant amount of space of ceiling so that you can actually build it and not get, yeah. Or just, yeah, I have enough space to build it. Now the materials we're gonna get first is you can be stripped warp stem and warp planks and this first step is very grindy, but it's important to actually have this whole thing done. So what we're gonna do, once we have our stripped warp stem and our warp planks, we're gonna go one, two, three, four over. We're gonna go one block up and then we're gonna place one of our uh, stripped warp stems right there. Now that we got that, we'll get a warp plank, we'll place it right next to it. We'll skip one block, place another warped plank then put another stripped warp stem and now we're going to go diagonally around so we're going to do the exact same pattern though so it's one stem one plank skip one one plank and then a stem and now we're just going to kind of make a circle out of this the whole thing so we're going to place another stem right there one plank skip one plank stem then stem plank skip one plank stem and this is going to be the circular kind of base of our tower that goes up and now the next part is super, super grindy. So on each and every single one of these right here, we're gonna go one and we're gonna wanna raise it two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 tall. Like I said, it is super grindy going up this tall, but basically you're gonna wanna do that on just every single block, raising it all the way up in order to get this uh, tower started. So go ahead and do that process real quick. Now that we got this whole tower established right here, and you can see it's very, very, very tall and cool looking, we're gonna get the four next materials, which is gonna be strip warp stem, warp planks, warp stairs, and white stained glass pane. And I will say, before we start, that I was one block off. So we'll actually wanna go up a total of 26 in the end. And the way you'll know if you've got the height right overall is this next part, if you do it exactly right you should get the same amount of blocks as me so so don't worry if, you, if you're if you're off one or two blocks you'll be able to tell once we do this next part and what we do for the next part is we're going to be doing the windows and kind of this wall the intersection right here the way we do that and it's gonna be the same on each one so i'll repeat it twice and then let you guys do the other two on your own it's gonna go one two three four with the warped planks then we're gonna do one upside down warp stair from there, we'll get our white stained glass pane. We'll go one, two, three up. Then we'll do one upright warp stair. From there, we'll get our warp planks out. We'll go one, two, three, and we'll do an upside down stair. Then we'll do one, two this time instead of three glass windows. Then we'll do an upright stair. We'll go one, two, three. Then we'll put an upside down stair. One, two, three, upright stair and then we'll have one at two. And if you have one, two, it should become flush with the very top, just like that. Once again, I will do that again because that was very, very rapid and um, a little confusing. So once again, we'll go one, two, three, four planks. Then we'll have one upside down stair. We'll do one, two, three glass, one upright stair, then one, two, three planks, one upside down stair. Then we'll go one, two, one upright stair. Then we'll go one, two, three, one upside down stair, one, two, three glass, and then one upright stair, and then one, two planks. And once again, you could see that it was flush. So go ahead and make sure you do that for every single one. I'm not gonna repeat it again. If you guys are confused, just look back at this little, little part of the clip so you guys can see how to do it again. But let's go ahead and get that finished. So this next part, we will be adding quite a bit of extra detail. Um, so be prepared for that. The materials we're gonna wanna go ahead and get is gonna be polished blackstone bricks, polished blackstone brick stairs, polished blackstone brick slab, polished blackstone brick wall, blackstone wall, white stained glass pane, and end rod. And my gosh, not, not in this game, but in real life, it just got super dark outside. I think it's about to storm or something. <laughs> That's good though, I like stormy weather. Anyways, um, let's actually get back to the tutorial. So the very first thing we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is right here on this wall, we're gonna do this and it's gonna be symmetrical around the whole thing. We'll get our bricks out, we're gonna go one, two, three, and make a rectangle with it like this. So going all the way around and on the inside, 
We'll get our polished blackstone brick walls and we'll put one, two, three down. Right here in this corner, we'll just go one, two, three up, and then we'll do the exact same thing, repeating this pattern over and over again, going around the whole thing. So walls are in here, the polished blackstone brick wall. And you wanna make sure that this is all the bricks because eventually we will texture it up, but for the time being, just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna use this blocks and not texture it along the way because that would get really confusing really, really quickly. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like, pretty simple design. Now that we got that, we can get our polished black stone brick walls and in every single corner, we'll just place it on this bottom block right here, wrapping around the whole thing. In this way, we're gonna have a base supporting the tower. And oh my gosh, in, in, in real life, it just keeps getting dark outside. It almost looks like it's nighttime and it's in the afternoon. I don't, I, I don't know why this is crazy to me, to me but it's so weird. Uh, now that we got that detail done though, yeah, that's the base of the tower. So we'll get our polished black stone bricks and on this block right above the upright stair, so like one, two above the glass, we're gonna wrap around right here, going all the way around with the polished black stone bricks. And we will actually make this too thick. So we'll wrap this around and then we're gonna make it too thick. And we will break some blocks and replace some blocks just because that's my style of build. And this is the way I remember it. So yeah, now that we got that all the way wrapped around, we'll get our polished black stone brick stairs. And in the middle of each and every single one, we'll break them and replace it with an upside down stair and an upright stair, which I said that out of order, but it's just an upright stair and upside down stair. And we'll do this on every single corner. The nice thing about this build is that it is very symmetrical and it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to do a tutorial on it. Now that we got that, and I just realized I said polished uh, polish black stone brick slabs. I'm sorry about that. I meant to say polished black stone slabs. So replace that for your materials. And what we're gonna do is we'll just put one here, one here, and just basically one on every single corner. I just realized I forgot another detail down there. So let's go ahead, wrap around just on every single corner. We'll do that on the upper layer. And then we'll also actually do it on the bottom layer as well, wrapping around like so. I think the weather distracted me from this one detail. So now that we got that, I'll, I'll repeat this too. So if I did that a little too quick, I'll repeat it. But I think the weather distracted me because we're right down here, we're actually supposed to do three of these polished blackstone slabs all the way around on each and every single one of these layers. That looks a bit more correct. Yep, that's how it's supposed to be looking. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're basically gonna repeat this exact same thing that we just did. So on this layer right here, we'll actually go and we'll make it too thick tall and we'll go all the way around wrapping around in polished black stone bricks. So right there. And this does get a little bit repetitive, but on the third time you do it, you'll be a pro because there will be a third time you have to do this. Now that we got that, we'll do the stairs, which is an upright stair and an upside down stair in the middle of each and every single one of these. And there is thunder. So I guess I was right about the storm. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. If you can, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't really predict the weather. <laughs> All right, ooh, and this one last one right here too. And now we'll get our polished black stone slabs on each and every single corner. We'll place one of those. So one there, 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 and there and there. And we'll go underneath and we'll do the same thing again. If you guys want to skip this part because it is a little dry, I mean, you can, but then you'll miss how to do the next part. So I, I would recommend keep watching. <laughs> Now from there, we'll do the same thing on the top layer and we're gonna do the exact same thing except there will be one detail that is a little bit different from all the rest. So I'll try to speed this up a little bit and go a little bit quicker than I usually am when I'm placing blocks and stuff like that. But after this, the tower is basically done. I mean, there's still a lot more stuff that we have to do and honestly, we have to do the top and everything like that. And we still have to do a bunch more of the minor details like banners and lanterns hanging from it and everything. And then, and then of course there is decaling and everything, but the tower is basically a pretty, pretty simple thing. It's not that complex when you're actually building it. We'll do the same thing we've been doing with the slabs. If you're doing this right too, you should have just one half slab above these warp planks. If you're doing it wrong, then you're building at the wrong height. So you have to watch the video again and figure out where you went wrong with that. But now that we have got all these slabs right here, the one detail we said we were gonna change is if we get our polished black stone bricks, instead of being two wide right here, we'll actually go three wide. So we'll have it go three down, I guess. And it should be level kind of with these slabs right here, the polished black stone slabs. Now that we got that, we will get our black stone walls and we will add a bit more of the decorational detail. So if we go right here, we should do one, two, pol uh, just regular black stone walls. And then we'll actually get our white stained glass pane. We'll have one, two. The top one should connect, the bottom one shouldn't. That's how it should look. And we'll do that on every single corner. So two of the, pol uh, or the black stone walls and with the glass on top. And we'll basically do this all throughout the build, except um, it will be a little bit different on some of the layers down below, which I'll show you soon enough. There we go. So now that we got those four posts done, on this one right here, you will notice that the window is a bit smaller. So we'll actually just do one smack in the middle of the blackstone wall with two end rods on either side instead of the glass. And the way you'll know you got this right is if you have a block of space up here and a block of space down there as well. But we'll wrap around and do this real quick. 
There's that one. And here comes the very last one right here. And then the bottom layer, whoops, not right there. And the bottom layer is just gonna be a repeat of the top, except this time when we place down the polished black, or the, the black stone walls, we'll have the glass here and here, and neither of them will connect. So there will be a block of space between each one, and you will want this once again in the center so that it looks very uh, symmetrical. And we'll add these last walls here too. And then two more walls right there as well. Now that we got that, that is looking definitely well, definitely looking good. We'll actually go ahead and do the interior floors and ceilings and walls so that we can go ahead and have a way to get up. If you're building this on survival, I'm sorry, this is a very unsurvival friendly as in it's hard to construct and there is a lot of materials too. But with that said, we'll go ahead and we'll start working on the next part. For this next part, the materials we're gonna go ahead and get is gonna be smooth quartz block, black stone, stripped warped stem, warped slab, warp trap door, twisting vines, ladder, and I also forgot, but we'll also want some warped planks as well. So now that we got those, and I will apologize real quick again, if you do hear the rain, cause it's starting to pour down pretty hard and it's almost pitch black here in my house too, which is amazing, I love the rain. This is this is, this is always makes making the uh, tutorial a lot better, but if you guys do hear that, I do apologize for that. Anyways, what we're gonna do, ooh, we also wanna go ahead and get our stripped warped door. So we're gonna go ahead and actually break these two blocks. And when you eventually do build the other tower, you're actually gonna build this just in a mirror shape. I'll explain that when we get to that whole thing though. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna break those two blocks and we're gonna break these two warped planks right here. We'll go ahead and get our black stone and we'll replace the entire floor with just black stone to make it all flush and seamless right here. Then we'll get our door. We can place it right there because that's where the door is gonna be, the entrance to this tower. And now we're gonna go ahead and install the ceiling, which if we go on the one, two, three on the fourth block right here, we're just gonna get our smooth quartz block and install the ceiling right here. If you would want to use a different ceiling or just other materials, since this is a little bit expensive, you are welcome to do that as well. Now that we got that though, we'll get our ladder and on this block right here in the middle, we'll go one, two, three up. We'll break the smooth quartz and we'll place in a trap door right there so that you can go ahead and climb up. But if you're on this floor, you can also press this so that you don't actually fall down the floor right there. Now we're gonna replace these three windows with warped planks right here, which that won't matter in the long run. You'll see why eventually. But now that we got that, we got our smooth quartz block once again, and we're actually gonna go ahead and place it on this block right here. So if we go one, two, on the third block above this window is where we'll place our smooth quartz block, and we'll fill in this whole layer right here, going all the way across. And we'll get our ladder real quick, and we'll have it go up, which should be one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll break this block and put in another trap door so we can keep climbing up. And now we'll install a little bit of the ceiling too. If we get our stripped warp stem, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And it is actually gonna be perpendicular to this ladder right here. So that's how the log should look going across the ceiling. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five on either side. We'll get our warp slab and we'll place one, two, three on this block right here. And then one, two, three. So it looks like we actually have a structural ceiling and it looks like it's being supported a little bit. Now that we got that, let's climb on to the next layer. And the way you know if you're on the right layer is there should be two blocks, then the window right there. And for this next layer, We'll go ahead and get our smooth quartz block and we'll actually place it one block below this window right here. So right there, it should be one, two, three on the fourth block above the two wide window and we'll install the smooth quartz ceiling once again real quick. Which these ceilings are pretty high, the rooms are pretty tall, but I will eventually show, I, I, I'm gonna, I haven't done it yet, but I'll make an interior video for this too so that we can actually have some nice interior decorations. And now we're gonna go ahead and replace these two glass windows with the warped planks. We'll have our ladder continue up which this ladder will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tall, and we'll break this smooth quartz block, replace it with a trap door. And then we'll install our ceiling once again with uh, two, three, four, five with the strip warp stem. And then the planks going across to make it look like we got some structural supports there. Man, it is really, really coming down hard too with the rain there. Again, apologies if you can hear that. Then for the last one, we'll go ahead, climb up here. The way you know if you're on the right layer is if you can look at this window, there should be one block right there. And then we'll install the ceiling, which is gonna be just one block above this window. So it's one, two, three, right, right, right there, just above. And we'll fill this all in with smooth quartz. Comment down below too, if you can hear the rain. If not, I, I guess that's good, but it is very, it's coming down so hard. It looks like we're gonna have a pretty long thunderstorm. So hopefully my power doesn't go out too, cause that would not be, <laughs> that would not be optimal. Uh, now that we got that though, we'll go ahead and replace these three glass blocks with some warped planks and we'll get the ladders. We'll go one, two, three, four, five up. Replace this with a trap door. Then we'll get our logs and we'll go one, two, three, four, five across the ceiling right here. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll do the uh, supports like we've been doing with the slabs right here. Comment down below too, if you guys enjoy thunderstorms. Because rainy days when it's like this dark in my room and I can hardly see my hands, well, I can see my hands, but you know, it's just so dark and the rain coming down. 
I absolutely love it like this. So comment down below if you guys like rainy days too, because I absolutely love them. I'm probably gonna watch a movie after this because that's what I do on rainy days. <laughs> now that we got that though, You'll notice we have one more block to fill and we'll just fill this all up with warp planks, which actually I placed this trapdoor on the wrong block. We should have the trapdoor right there. But we'll fill this all in with some warp planks going around like so. And that should be that tower right there completed with the interior. We'll go ahead and finish off the top and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. But yeah. This rain is coming down so hard, it's so great. <laughs> so our materials for the next part is gonna be polished black stone bricks, black stone wall, end rod, white stained glass pane, warp trap door, twisting vine, soul campfire. And I'm gonna say that again, white stained glass pane. I said that really, really weird just a second ago. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that, we're actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the ladder up. Well, I'm not gonna take the ladder up. I'm just gonna fly through this real quick because I did realize while I was building this, I built one section wrong and it is right here. So I do apologize for that. We're gonna break these ladders real quick and we're gonna break the trap door up there, replace these blocks. So you actually did wanna get warp planks and uh, smooth quartz block out as well. But I forgot, cause this is gonna be a doorway that eventually leads over to the other tower. Cause there are two towers in this thing. So what we're actually gonna do is once you get on this very final layer right here, and the way you can tell it's the final layer is just by the ceiling. It is literally zero blocks above this window right here. What we're actually gonna do is over here, we're gonna put a twisting vine. We're gonna have a twisting vine go all the way up to the top. We'll break the smooth quartz and the planks right there. And we'll actually have this twisting vine come all the way out the top one block like so, so that we can have a ladder that leads to the very top of the roof. And then we'll surround it with some trap doors to make it look like it's more foundational, kind of supported right there. But yeah, we don't want the ladder right there because we're gonna have a doorway right there. And this is a lot of the twisting vines continue all the way up here, like so. So now that we got that out of the way though, I'm gonna get rid of that and the trap doors. We'll go ahead and do this next section, which is the very tippy top of the build. And we're gonna finish it off. So if we get our polished black stone brick stairs out, or our polished black stone bricks, on this corner, we're gonna go one, two, three, four up. In the middle, we're gonna go one, two, three, four up. And then right here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. And we're just gonna do this wrapping around the entire build until you get these kind of spokes coming up the top of this tower. So keep going around, making each one of these four tall above. And there's that. Now we'll get a black stone wall out and we'll put two in between each of these walls. So we'll do this real quick, making it look a bit more foundational, a bit more secure. So now that we got that, we'll get our black stone walls. And on the middle spokes, we're actually gonna go up two black stone walls on each and every single one of them. And then on the corner ones, we're only gonna go up one on each of these. Oops, not right there, but like so. Then we'll get our end rods. And on the two high spokes on the middle of each of these, we're actually gonna go up two on each and every single one of these, like so, right there. Then we'll get a white stained glass paint and we'll put it on top of the two end rods so that we get a finishing touch like this. When we fly down real quick just to check it out, that is what this tower should look like completed. It looks insanely awesome if you were to ask me. And for a very finishing touch, we'll actually get a campfire and we'll split, uh, put it smack in the middle right here with some of the trap doors I got rid of, surrounding it to make it look a little bit cooler. No, actually, I think what I did was I got a spruce plank. Sorry about this. I just remembered this because I, I did this a while ago. I put a spruce plank with the campfire on top and then trapdoor surrounding the spruce plank so that it looks like this. And that way, even though there's already a ton of particle effects, we get some smoke coming out of the tower too. Now that we got that done, I think it's time to actually texture it. So let's get that done. All right, with the tippy top finished of this tower right here, we're gonna go ahead, hop into the chest and get our next materials, which is gonna be strip warp stem, warped planks, blackstone, blackstone stairs, chain, and a soul lantern, and this black banner right here. If I place it down, you can see what it looks like, and I'm gonna show you real quickly how to build it so that you guys actually know how to do it yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab a black banner, two blue dyes, a light blue dye, and a skull charge as well so that we can get this banner made exactly. If we put the black banner in there, we'll also put one blue dye. The very first thing we're gonna do is do this, whatever this is called right here. I guess blue, border, indented. We're gonna do that first. The next thing we're gonna do is we'll put our banner back in with our light blue, blue dye in the skull charge. We'll put that in right there. We'll take the skull charge out. Then we'll put it in the banner and the blue dye and we'll put a gradient and the gradient should be coming from the top like so. So when you get a finish, it should be blue, border, indented, light blue skull charge and blue gradient. And from there, that is actually how we build our banner. So now that we got that, we can go ahead and actually start texturing this thing up, which the texturing is kind of random. It's up to you. Just every once in a while, I want you guys to put down some blackstone and some blackstone stairs. So replacing some of the polished blackstone blocks to make this look a little bit more 
unique. I guess you could do it with the walls too if you really want, so you can get some blackstone walls out too. So let's go ahead and get that out. And you can replace some of these here too if you would like. Just basically do it every once in a while. You don't want to do too much, don't want to do overkill. So do, go ahead and do that to texture it up. Another way to texture up is putting chains and lanterns. So I usually just do one chain and a lantern or I'll just put a lantern on a solid block right, like right there. And with the banners, same thing. You just want to do it every once in a while. So maybe a banner there and maybe another banner hanging from this ledge right there. Just kind of eyeball it, make it look good. And it's it's yours to design right there. So that's how I do the texturing. But the next part we want to do too is I'm going to get my strip warp stem out. And from this block right here, if this was the first block right here, we'd go one and then we're going to start counting over. It's going to be a long count too. So I'm warning you, I'm going to put some uh, um, blocks down just as placeholders for the time being. So this will be one right here. Then we're going to go two and it should be aligned with this log right here. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 27 blocks overall, it is a bit of a distance, and then we'll place one more block right there. So this will, after 27 blocks in between, starting on this one right here, again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, so all the way 27, and we'll place this block right here. And then you guys can actually restart my video because this is gonna be the same exact tower right here. And we'll go ahead and I'll show the layout real quick just so you guys can see that it's right. We'll have this, the, the little circle that we did in the very beginning. Ooh, if I can get it down right, right there. All right, so that's what that frame should look like when you finally get this finished. And if you did build it right, if you have this grid right here, it should have one block or two blocks in front right here. So that's what that should be like, because eventually when you put this black trim, yeah. So it should be two blocks away from the very end like so. That's how you'll know if you got it right. And these logs right here should be aligned with these logs right here. And now one thing I did say earlier about mirroring it too. So as you can see, this side is actually um, full of planks and everything and how I did the ladders. What we're gonna do for this one is we'll actually have the ladder on this side when you walk in, in the doorway right here. So remember that when actually building this, you're actually gonna build it a little bit of a mirrored way, but you'll have the door right here and then the ladder on this side going all the way up the tower. So remember that and you'll actually have no windows on this side as well. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys rebuild the tower real quick, rewatch the tutorial, and then I'm gonna have to build it myself too. And I'll show you guys what I was talking about with that mirrored effect too. So let's go ahead, texture it up, and get both the towers up, and then we'll do the next part. All right, so what app, what probably took like another 30 minutes for you guys, only took one clip for me, but we are back and we have the towers. And like I was saying earlier, I did say it was gonna be mirrored, kind of reverse. And as you can see, that is exactly what happened. So if we were to look into this tower right here, you can look on the inside and see that the ladder is on the right side instead of the left, like over here, it's basically mirrored. And if you wanna know, make sure you got this exactly right. We go back to the grid. And if you look over here, there should just be this space right here with this, it should be aligned with this black concrete block right there so that you know your build is in the exact right spot. There should be, from say a temporary block right there, from there to there, that should be 27 block distance. To just to make sure you guys got it absolutely right. Now that we got that said though, let's go ahead and get our materials out, which our materials for this part is gonna be polished blackstone bricks, warped planks, warped stairs, warped slab, blackstone slabs, and warped door as well. And there will be a lot of breaking blocks and everything in this part, but that is just kind of what we have to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is if we go in this middle block, we'll replace this. And basically we'll just replace every single block that we already have with a line of polished blackstone bricks until we get to this point right there. That's the very first step we wanna do. And we'll do this on both sides as well because it is symmetrical. So we'll go over here and we'll do the exact same thing. And now that we got that right there, that is looking correct. Yeah, we'll go ahead and actually we'll break the holes open. So if we break this stair right here and then go up two, three, four, so one, two, three, four tall, that is how big we want this gap for the time being. One, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and we'll actually place a door right here with an upside or an upright stair and then an upside down stair on top of that. And we'll do the same thing over here once again. We'll have a door with an upright stair, upside down stair, just like that. And the door should be aligned with the floor. If it's not aligned with the floor, then you did something wrong. From there, we can go ahead, put a warped plank or a warped stair right there. And we'll do the same thing on this side as well. 
Now, if we go ahead and say you were standing on this ledge, you would actually want to go ahead and go one block down like so. So you want to go one block down from this stair right here with a polished black stone brick. And then we'll actually go across this entire gap filling it in because now we're going to go ahead and create a little bit of a bridge. So we got this right there. And from there, if you were still on the stair and doing this in survival, you'd want to go just one slab above. So you can see there's a one half slab block right there or, or of, of space. And we'll go across the entire thing with black stone slabs and make sure that they are top half slabs as well. So now that we got that going all the way across the top, this is what it should look like from afar away. What we can do next is get our railing in place. So if we get our polished black stone bricks, we'll actually bring this all the way across, walking on the black stone slabs as well, because this is our bridge that goes all the way through the middle, which is perfect. And then we'll do the same thing on this side as well. And you'll feel a lot more safe after building this part, because now you actually have a railing in place and won't feel like you're about to fall down. From there, we can go ahead, and I forgot to say also, I always forget one material, the polished blackstone brick slab. So get that out as well. And basically, we'll just start on this block and every other block, we will place one of these slabs so that we get this more castle looking sort of a gate that we're, we're, we're building. We'll do that all the way across and then we'll do the exact same thing right there and go all the way across as well until we reach the other side, which I keep misplacing. There we go. So that's what you should have right now. And honestly, that's as far as my brain could handle going ahead. So we're gonna figure out what to do next. And our next materials is gonna be polished blackstone bricks, polished blackstone brick wall, blackstone slabs, and end rod as well. And this will be a little bit tricky if you're building this in survival, so I do apologize in advance. But the first thing we're gonna do is on this block, we'll place one blackstone block right there and we'll actually create a full uh, block in it. You know what, I can actually do this from up here and show you how to do it to make it easier in survival. So what we're gonna do is for the time being, I'm gonna break one, two, three, four, five, and I'll place another block right there and then I'll place these two, three, oop. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and break them for the time being. So we'll have a solid block right there and then we'll go one. This is so that I can see how many blocks I'm going. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. We'll make another solid block. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, make another solid block. And one, two, three, four, five. And well, that last one should be a solid block as well right there. And from there, we'll just go ahead and fill in the top half slab all the way across. So once you get this all filled in, that makes it a little bit easier in survival. We'll go down here and you can see we have equal distance little slabs in the middle of each of these. Based on those, we will actually create towers. So right here, we'll go up one, two, one, two, and it is perfectly aligned with that blackstone slab in the middle. Over here, we'll do the exact same thing. So right here, we'll go one, two, one, two, and then right here, we'll do it one more time. We'll go one, two, one, two. And if you guys were to look at this correctly, it goes one, two, three, four, five. So there are five gaps still in between each of these. One, two, three, four, five, just to make sure you guys are doing it right. From there, we'll get a polished black stone brick wall. We'll place one, one on each of these, and then we'll go one, two, one, two on each of these, and then one, one. And from there, we'll basically place some end rods on top of all of these guys right here. And again, that is all my brain could handle in one segment. So we'll go ahead and hop on to the next part. For this next part, we'll go ahead and get our materials, which is gonna be polished black stone bricks, polished black stone brick stairs, polished black stone brick slab, polished black stone brick wall, black stone wall, dark oak fence, and iron bars. And hopefully we get this right this time because I've recorded this clip so many times and I just can't seem to get it right every single time. So let's go ahead. And starting on this wall right here, we're actually gonna go one, two, three blocks up with the polished black stone brick uh, block. And then we'll go one, two. Then we'll go one, two, three, like so. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up one diagonally, then we're gonna go up another one diagonally, then we're gonna go down one diagonally, down one, two, like so. That's what you should have started off with right there. We can go ahead and get our blackstone wall and fill in this area right here as well. And now I'm actually gonna go to the other side and kind of mirror exactly what we just did. So over here, we'll go up one, two, three, and if you want, this will make it look a little bit nicer. I'm actually gonna replace these walls on the inside, the inner walls with blocks right there. So that looks a little bit nicer. Now what we're gonna do is now that we have that one, two, three, we're gonna go up one, two, then we'll go one, two, three, then we're gonna go up one diagonally, another diagonally, then down diagonally, and then we'll have one, two right there with the walls filling it in, the blackstone walls right there. And that should look perfectly symmetrical. If it doesn't, then you've already done something wrong. From there, we'll get our polished blackstone brick slabs. And on top of this three post right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. We should get a wall right there. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, I believe, or no, just one, two, three, like so. We'll do the same thing on this side as well. It's so gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put a wall and then we'll go one, two, three right there like so. From there, we'll get our polished blackstone bricks and we're actually gonna go one, two, three, four up. We'll go one, two, three, four up. 
And we're gonna turn this slab into a block and this slab into a block as well. And then we'll go up one block here, one block here, then one more up in the middle like so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut real quick because I don't know if that looks right or not and I don't have to record this again. So I'll, I'll cut and just show you guys what the right thing to do is in just one sec. Which I am glad I did clip because we had this wrong. Let's delete those blocks and we're actually gonna turn this one into a slab and this one as well into a slab. I'm telling you guys, this one was messing with my mind. So this is what it should look like. And we'll actually replace this with an upside down stair and this with an upside down stair as well. That's what it should be looking like. And now that we got that part, we'll actually go ahead and we'll go in another block right here, another block right here. And then we'll go up one slab, up one slab and one block in the middle with the gate. That's how the gate should look. Oh my gosh, that took me so long. Then we'll get our iron bars. We'll place one here, here and here. And we'll go ahead and fill these guys in. This part wasn't hard at all, filling in the iron bars and all that. We'll fill this all in with some iron bars so that way we can actually have a gate that is functional. And we'll have the iron bars here as well and going around here and here as well. Now that we got that, that's what it should be looking like, which is perfect. We'll get our slabs and we'll add and incorporate this kind of castle-like structure that we've been doing, which we'll put a slab here, make this a full block, make this a full block, and that a full block, and that a full block as well. And we'll do the same thing on this side right here. So one slab right there, one slab here, here and there as well. And that is definitely looking absolutely 100% correct. So thank God for that. <laughs> then we'll get our blackstone wall and we'll put one here, one here. We'll skip one block and put one right there. And we'll do the same thing on the side right here again. So one here, here, skip a block, place one right there. And we'll actually do this on both sides as well. So one right there, there, skip a block, one right there. Then one right there, there, skip a block, one right there as well. And the very last thing we wanna do is we'll put a polished blackstone uh, block down there and right below this stair as well. And we'll have one, two, three uh, upright black stone stairs like so. That is this part of the gate done. And now we just got to do this cool archway right here, which is probably gonna give me another headache, but we need to proceed. I used to say roofs were terrible. This, this is so, so much worse. <laughs> But let's continue guys. All right, for the next part, we're gonna go into this chest and we're gonna get polished blackstone bricks, polished blackstone brick stairs and polished blackstone brick slab. And I will say real quick, if my voice sounds a little bit different, it's because it's been an hour since I recorded that last clip and that's because I actually went to go to Taco Bell and take a bit of a break because my mind was hurting. So, so I thought it'd be a better idea to actually get some lunch and stuff because I was hungry too. So, but now that we got that said and out of the way, let's go ahead and build this next part. If we go on this block right here, if we go one, two blocks up, we'll actually put one of this uh, polished blackstone bricks right there. We'll put a stair right next to it, oops, pointing this way, with the slab on top right there. Then we'll go ahead and put another block here, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll put another stair, we'll put a block on top of that with a slab right next to it. And we'll go one, two, three, four. Then we'll get our slabs and on the top half slab, we'll go one, two, three. Then over here, we'll do the exact same thing on this side as well. So we'll go up one, two blocks, place a solid block down with a stair up right next to it and a slab on top right there. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll put a stair with a slab on top of it. Oop, a stair with a slab next to it and a block right there. Then we'll go one, two, three, four. And then we'll get our slabs and we'll go one, two, and we should have three smack in the middle. So now that we got that little archway, let's figure out what we're gonna do next. All right, so this next part, we're gonna have the same exact materials in addition to having black stone wall as well. And we're gonna create the arches and then there's one more step and we are actually done with this build. So let's go ahead, hop into it. If we go from this slab, we're gonna actually go just one block above that. So like there's a half slab and then there's a block right there. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go one, two, three. Then we're gonna go one, two. We're gonna go up another one, two right there. Then we will actually put a stair right here and we'll go one, two sideways with a slab right there. Then starting on top of this block right here, we'll go one, two, three, four, five blocks over, overall like so. And then we'll get our walls, our blackstone walls. We'll have one, two, three right there. We'll have one, two, three again, one, two, and one right there. And fill in this gap right here with a regular block. So that's how we get that first part of the arch. And now we'll go over here and we'll do the exact same thing, just kind of mirrored. So we'll go one half slab and one block up and we'll go one, two, three. Right next to that, we'll go one, two. Then we'll go another one, two with a stair right there. Then we'll go sideways, one, two with a slab. And then 
on top of this block, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. We should have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's what that is in the middle. So now that we got that though, we'll get our walls and right here we'll go one, two, three over. We'll have one, two, three right there and fill in this little gap with the regular block right there overall. So that's what it should be looking like. And the very last step is adding in these fence kind of gate supports that make it look really cool. So let's go ahead and do that final part. And the very final part, we'll get our lesson tiers, which are gonna be a polished black stone brick wall and dark oak fence. And then we'll be done with this, this insane, insane gate thing that we have created. So over here, we're gonna skip two blocks. We're gonna place one wall and we're gonna go up one, two with the uh, dark oak fence and place another wall right there. And then we'll skip one block. We'll place one right here. We'll put a dark oak fence, then we'll put a polished black stone brick wall, then one, two fence, and then another wall right there. From there, we'll skip another block and we'll just do this all, except it's all gonna be dark oak fence this time, so all the way up right there. Then we'll skip another block and we'll go one, we'll place one, two right there. Then I think we'll place the dark, uh, the, the wall right there. And then we'll go one and then place a wall right there. Yeah, that is definitely looking right. Then from here, this one's just gonna be purely fence going all the way up to the top, which placing these down is a little difficult. And then the very middle one, because uh, this is in the exact center of this whole thing, we're actually gonna go up one, two, and then we're gonna place one wall and two walls actually, place another fence and another wall right there so that you get this cool looking pattern right here. And now we'll just repeat it except going down this time. So we'll skip another block. We'll go all the way up just using regular fence to the very top with another one of the walls right there. Then we'll skip another block, we'll go up one, two we'll place one of the uh the black walls and then we'll go up one place another wall then we'll skip another block and this will be just purely fence going all the way up right there then we'll skip another block this one will go with one fence then the wall then two fence and then another wall right here it will just be plain old fence and that is basically the whole thing right there the whole two towers 100 percent done I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, like I said earlier on in the video. It does really, really help me out, especially when I do these super cool builds. And I just realized too, a little bit of an extra bit of a tip if you guys want to detail this and make it look really nice, is we can actually put this banner right here smack in the center, because that always looks really nice. And if we get some lanterns, you can see, uh, actually I didn't hang them down there. We could put some lanterns hanging down just for some extra detail right here too, to add a tiny bit more umph to it. So like maybe right there, a chain right there on that one. And then maybe one hanging right there, something like that. But yeah, yeah, that is the whole thing 100% done. I, it was a really fun one to do. And I think it turned out absolutely phenomenal the way it looks. It's just so pretty, so gothic, but castle yet. And, and it fits in the nether too. So it's a 100% great build. I absolutely love it. This is one of my absolute favorite styles to build. You guys have seen a few builds like this now, but... I am just stalling for words at this point. If you, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And, and don't forget, as usual, to keep playing Minecraft and enjoy loving it because it is such a fun game. It's a game that keeps on giving for like an eternity. But I will be doing an interior video if you guys really want to. I think I'm gonna do it regardless, but if you guys do want to, comment down below and let me know because I think that'd be really, really fun. And that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching. Ciao.